Hey, I'm going to teach you how to color an avatar with our new Luma Flow and Aqua Runes using Substance Painter. Now, I'm going to assume you at least know how to load if your avatar in Substance Painter. Usually, your avatar base maker of choice has provided a file for it. All right, let's get started. Load up your avatar of choice in Substance Painter. I'm using the default Rex because it's a common avatar. Now, we need to get our Luma Flow and Aqua Runes into Substance Painter, and it's really easy. Drag and drop the provided SBSAR files into Substance Painter in the area marked Assets or Shelf, depending on your version. Mine happens to be in the corner of the screen, but it could be anywhere else, really. All right, now a new window is going to pop up. These files we have provided are called Alphas, so we're going to mark them as so here on the right. Then here at the bottom, we're going to import our resources into the library so that we have access to all of them through all your projects in case you have multiple avatars that need to be retextured. Now there are many ways to texture an avatar, but the easiest way I have found is to make a new fill layer in my layer section above every other layer. Then I'm going to give it a black mask. Now in that layer, I'm going to click on the left square and take a look at its properties. I'm not an expert texture artist, so I'm going to turn off a lot of these channels and keep it to the two I need, color and emission. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to set them both to white since that generally glows the best within Luma Glow Worlds, but this is where you change the color of your runes or flow if you'd like. If you don't have an emissions layer, access your texture set settings and use the plus symbol to add an emissions channel. And then I'm going to go back and click on the right square in my layers section and then look at the properties for that. I'm going to find the alpha section and I'm going to drag my runes or my flow into that box and my cursor will change into the appropriate shape. I can use the shape slider here to change the look of my cursor. From here I can get to coloring using any number of different shapes, rotation, size to give my avatar a design. After I'm done, I'm going to export my textures and apply them to the new Ferality Aqua Shader. Now remember, Substance Painter is a little complicated. I wish I had hours to go over everything, but this will be a good start to get you on your way to texturing an avatar for Ferality Aqua. YouTube is always a great source, and there are tons of helpful people within the VR Check furry community willing to help out as long as you're willing to ask. Bearing that, consider getting some funds together and paying an artist to help. There are many talented avatar retexture artists within the community, and I'm sure there's more than a few that will be willing to help out. Have fun creating a unique design for your avatar, and we can't wait to see you at Ferality Aqua.